Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Planet Crafter. The Planet Crafter. I'm going to get that wrong every time. Don't forget, if you like this video, take out that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. As you can see, um, it's, it's going to be a while. And I've been playing for quite a while since the last episode. I mean, I've put in quite a bit of time since the last episode. Um, you can see these things are moving a little bit, but it's not making much difference. So... Uh, we're going to have to make some changes. Now, a couple changes I've already made. Uh, I upgraded these to Tier 2. I think I mentioned, I had said, why would I bother? I, I'm getting what I need just fine. Well, now I'm not anymore because I need a lot more of these stupid eggplants. Uh, although I'm not going to harvest them at the moment. I also added another row back here uh, because the fusion reactor came available. And as I was putting out tree... Uh, seed spreaders tree spreaders whatever we ran out of power so i decided to go ahead and make a fusion reactor and see you know what the deal was and believe it or not you do okay believe it or not you don't need um whatever the that fusion power core you don't need it for these and this thing is tiny this is the fusion reactor right here and you can see it puts out 1,835 kilowatts compared to the, I think, 331 that the fission reactors put out. This thing is monstrous. Uh, I wouldn't mind building another one of these at some point, but not at the moment. And I'm going to have to do something about that. That's horrible. Um, but actually, that's part of a take. Uh, the the uh, uh, Tree Spreader Tier 2 is now available. Actually, we can probably build that. What do we need for it? Uh, super alloy, tree bark, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Did I stick a bunch of that stuff in here? I think it was this, this, this. Um, uh, super alloy, a tree. Wait a minute. What did I just pick up? Oh, I didn't need that, did I? Oh, no, I do need that. Super alloy, tree. What did I pick up I didn't need? Oh, I don't need the mutagen. Grab grab that by accident. Okay, super alloy. I'm going to grab that. And one of these. And, oh, the last thing was a tree bark. I'll grab some out of here. Uh, where is it? <laughs> this is really screwing me up now, having this in a different spot. Or, really, it's in the same spot, but having this extra row here. Oh, and I want to get rid of this, because this is the one that's causing trees to grow in here. So we're going to get rid of this. We'll take the tree out of here. We'll disassemble that. Um, and so we're going to have to place this a little further away. Um, hello? Oh! Oh, good. This one we can place. We can place here. Um, oh, that's right. I've noticed... Actually, let's stop for a second here. The trees spread a lot further than um, than the circle. <laughs> At least they seem to be, because I'm getting a lot more trees than I started off with. Let's put this tree spreader over here somewhere. Like right here. This is a good spot. We'll put it right next to this thing. Uh, tree spreader right here. And you might notice... I've got the uh, uh, Humalora tree, the one with a 150% modifier. Uh, and I'll show you where I got that seed in a minute. Okay, so this is going. We're getting plus 2.93 parts per trillion oxygen using 71 energy, getting plus 149 biomass, and it's just starting the tree growth. Uh, let's go over and see if we can... Uh, let's go get some more oxygen. <laughs> Actually, I should probably grab some oxygen and stuff to bring with me, just in case. At least bring a thing of oxygen, just in case. Um, oh, okay, that's right. I was going to say, why do I have a bunch of stuff in here? Uh, that's right, because... Uh, I've already got a water. Let's grab our rations. Because uh, I dismantled that other thing. Uh, we'll put those in there. Super alloy in here. I sort of feel like the new one is a little cheaper to make than the old one. What happened to the food that I just picked up? 
Did I not just pick up a food? Oops. A ration, I mean? There we go. Okay. You know, I'm not going to drink the water. I actually don't even need to bring a water, but the water thing is full. Our, our water box is full. All right, so first things first, we're going to head over here and we'll pick up our uh, sulfur while we're at it. I wonder if I should go ahead and uh, switch this out for a tier two here. So I, just, I still just got a tier one sitting here. Okay, we get a decent amount of sulfur out of it and some other things. I've been running low on magnetite, which we didn't get any of. All right, well, whatever. Uh, let's stop and grab some oxygen. And now I'll show you where I found the plants. Uh, remember, that was those weird dark plants that we hadn't found any of yet. And where I actually found them is in here. I found two of them just, just randomly growing in here. So I am assuming that this is a place where they're frequently going to regrow. And so I plan on checking back here occasionally because we could definitely use more of those 150%. Yep, here's one right here. Plant Volnus. Okay, so that's another 150% tree we can put in. We'll have to get that growing when we get back. Oh, the chest has respawned. Well, we'll take that. There's another chest right here, but I don't think I have room for whatever's in it. Um, you know what? Let's drop that and that and that and that and that and that because I don't want that either. Um, let's drop the iron. I could drop this. I've got plenty of it. And let's grab this, 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 this. I don't really even need these either, but we'll grab them. And then one aluminum. <laughs> I don't know if that stuff will stay there for if it'll despawn at some point, but... Okay, so we managed to find one more. That's pretty cool. And there's something else I found. Actually, I found two new caves. Or at least new to me caves. But I can't remember where one of them was now. <laughs> It wasn't super important. It was just uh, uh, another... Um, oh, I think I know where it was. It was another uh, uh, iridium cave. And I don't really have any lack of iridium. Nothing else. I just do another iridium rocket and get uh, uh, that. Or put a miner down in the iridium uh, section and, and get iridium that way. But this cave is a little different, and so we're going to go over to that one next. Let me drop this stuff off first. Okay, we're going to head up towards the ring first off. Oh, oh, and uh, over there, the remember the area I was saying, the, the, the canyon area I was saying, I was surprised it wasn't filled with water? It's filled with water now. And there's a couple other areas that didn't have water in them before or had a small amount of water, but not a lot, where that water has really spread out now. And actually, coming over here... Oh, yeah, I forgot we were actually going to come down to the canyon. I was half expecting my little house here to be underwater. It might be when we hit the next stage. I don't know. But check this out. Check the ring out. It's got, it's got plants all over it now. Just, just really strange. Why are they growing over the Stargate? And yes, I know they did. They, the game doesn't call it a Stargate, but let's face it, it's a Stargate. <laughs> Even looks like it was designed to rotate, just like the Stargate. But yeah, it's got that. It's got these great big huge trees. It's really all set. Let's grab some oxygen before we go anywhere. Okay. Now. We'll head down this direction. I could have sort of cut around the corner a bit. Um, this actually, that... I don't think that was the place I had meant to come up. <laughs> I just sort of couldn't see, because I hit it at a weird angle, so I couldn't see. I meant to come up this way, uh, uh, but I just couldn't see it from the angle we were at. And I think I saw another entrance to this, another way to get to this, a shorter way, but I can't really remember for sure now. 
But if you come around here, you see this is where this down satellite is here. Um, and if you come around here, there's this little canyon right down in here. And another little hut. But if you look right here, here's a cave full of uh, 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 uranium. And here's where I've got my tier 2 miner. Just going at it here. I'm just going to empty it out. Good, I got some more uh, magnesium, not magnetite, sorry. Uh, we needed that. But yeah, there's more, more uh, uh, uranium on the walls here. I've already harvested a little bit of it. But right now I don't need a ton of it. So I'm not too worried about it. Especially if we're going to end up deconstructing uh, those generators. We definitely won't need it. <laughs> Oh dear. All right, now, did I see, was there an exit like right over here somewhere or something? Let's, can I go up this? Is it gonna let me go up this? Yeah, yeah, if you, if you jump over that little ow, bit of rock right there, preferably without great breaking Growler's ankles. Yeah, preferably. Um, then you're right here, right on the other side of the uh, aluminum area. And I have checked out those container things right there. There wasn't much in them. It wasn't exciting. I just emptied out more boxes. But uh, I think now that ring over there, if we had gone to the left and gone over that way, I think that 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 iridium cave I found is over that way somewhere. I think, like I said, I can't quite remember where it was I found it because I wasn't worried too much about it. <laughs> All right, so we are back to the base here. It's good, it's getting dark, and nights have just gotten so pitch black. Uh, I mean, this is nothing. It's going to be... I don't actually know why it's sort of dark here right now. But it's going to get really pitch black here for too long. Um, Alright. Let's see. What else did I want to look at? Let's look at this. I don't think we got much left here to get. Yeah, we've got our tree spreader tier 3. And I'm wondering if that maybe is where the fusion energy cell is going to be needed. I don't know. I don't know what the fusion energy cell is going to be for. I mean, it's, if it's not used in the fusion reactor, what is it? What is it used for? I I, I don't get it. So I I don't really understand. Maybe it's something for the future. But you can see that's all we have left to unlock is the the tree spitter tier three, and the fusion energy cell, and we need to I guess get a lot of trees out and launch a lot more ro rockets to get uh, to get these numbers moving. So I'm going to get some more tree spreaders out and we'll see how far I can push things today. All right, it is literally days later. I mean, in real life, days later. <laughs> uh, I It's just, it, it's going so slow. I mean, look at this. Look at this. We are up to 63.97. We need to get up to 79 in order to get the tier three tree thingy. And we're only up to 6% on this. I think that's going to take ages, as well as getting the fusion, whatever. As you can see, I redesigned in here. Uh, I was bored. Uh, and I was sort of annoyed. I realized I had this nice corridor, and then it sort of ended here because the lab was here. So I rearranged. I moved the lab over rearranged all of this stuff so my little workshop now in and my command center are now over by my storage which is a little bit handier uh and i added a little corridor out to our greenhouses on the side here uh because if i didn't i wouldn't be able to have one on this side and move it back to the last row and i wanted to move it back to the last last row and i put some nice windows in one thing i noticed when I set this one down up here, I could created this window box here, which is real nice for the ladder. When I set this one down up here, I, I didn't actually set it down actually right on the roof. It was a little bit above it and off to one side. So, yeah, I rearranged a little bit. But I think, I think, uh, I know where two caves are. One, I am almost positive... 
And that's all I've got is three super ally. One I'm almost positive. It's the one I was telling you about uh, at Ridium Cave that I had discovered. And uh, I'd gathered some of the uh, Iridium out of it. Um, I might have gathered all the Iridium out of it. I'm not sure. Uh, gathered the Iridium out of it. And um, then couldn't remember where it was when we were talking earlier. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Need these. I think I'm down to three of them or something. Um, but yeah, it's over in here. Oh, and I think, I, I think I'd actually told you. Uh, am I in the right spot? I might not be. Yes, I am. Okay, right here. This filled with water down here. Or not filled, filled, but we got a lot of water down here now. Grab some air. So, if you come around to the back side of this... Oh, and look at these great big vines that are growing here, too. If you come around to the back side of this, that Iridium Cave is back here. Here it is. Right here with this leaning tower of whatever it is. I also found a little wrecked, like, space fighter-sized spaceship down at that end of this canyon. There was a couple things there, nothing great. I got most of the stuff here, it looks like. Um, I'm, super alloy is really getting to be a problem. And uh, I saw someone said in the forums... Someone said, I think it was in the forums, I was I was just doing some reading because, well, what else am I going to do? <laughs> that um, if you place a miner down in the Iridium Caves, then it might get super alloy. I already have one in the nearby Iridium Cave, so I'm placing one back here. We'll just see if we have any better luck getting super alloy because I don't think I've gotten any out of the other cave. And I had one in the uh, uranium cave for a long time. I have taken that one out. Uh, it's now right behind the house because I'm running out of base resources because I'm using them to make super alloy. <laughs> uh, it's so handy to be able to drink from that. Um, and I did see a mention of another cave. So, yeah, I feel like I was cheating somewhat seeing it in the what you call it, but um, I'm not going to complain too much. <laughs> not if it not if it gets us uh, not if it gets us some more super alloy. So I'm going to drop this stuff off first off. And then we will go over there. And I'm going to pick up the miner that is um, in the sulfur area because I have about a case and a half full of sulfur now. I do not need any more sulfur at the moment. Of course, I said that about iridium a while back and you know now I've been struggling to have enough iridium too. Zeolite right there. Oh, I'm down to two. Well, now I have three. Okay, uh, let's grab... Yeah, I've got more storage boxes now thanks to... The way I did all that. Um, let's eat something before we go. There, we should be good. Okay. Now, let's empty this one. Yeah, I did upgrade this one, so it's a big one now. Okay, let's grab some air real quick. Uh, I didn't actually mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to open it, not, not delete it. there. Okay, so obviously nothing in there. Alright, now, what I read is that it is back here near the Sandfall area. Now, we did find the Osmium Cave that is was back here. So let's see. Let's go over this side. Is that a cave right there? It's so hard to see with this. I'm just going to go along here. Well, that goes out to that wreck. Oop. 
There's the light. Definitely can use those. Ooh, another case, too. And it's got some stuff in it. We definitely can use that. The cases have been respawning, too, so... Okay. Not gonna run too fast here, because I don't want to miss stuff. I'm not seeing any signs of Super Ally Cave around here. So here's this cave. We've known about this one for a while. We found this one the first time we came down here, but we've also mined it out. There's nothing here. And I don't think there was any Super Alloy here. That does not seem to be what they were talking about. I mean, I can always put the miner in there and see what we get. Maybe it got changed to an Osmium cave. Maybe that was an old comment. Of course, it could be the cave is higher up, but I don't know how on earth we would get to it if it was. But I'm pretty sure they said... It was near the sandfall thing. I'm just, I'm going to go out here. See, there's a big lake over here now, too. Ooh, here's a cave. I've gone past this area a number of times and never saw this cave. And it's... <coughs> Super alloy. Excellent. Um, okay, we found the super alloy cave. I'm thinking, where do I want to put this? Do I want to put it right next to the entrance? Let's see what it says. Super alloy. Oh, thank God. Okay, do I have enough stuff? Excuse me. I don't have enough iron to build a structure here. Unless I get it from one of these cases. And shoot. Um, there we go. Now we only have one iron. Got a lot of super alloy. Alright, let's... We know where it is now. You can see we had a nice little lake over here now too. It goes all the way up into the uh, into the uh, 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 iridium cave there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shelter here because we don't come over here for any reason anymore. So I'm gonna take this shelter here and move it over there. That way I don't have to come up with the materials for another one. <laughs> I was looking around thinking, this cave isn't really very big, and then I realized there was a whole second room. And look at the back wall of this. This is shaped stone. Uh, this is not something any of us definitely built here. <laughs> okay, that's really interesting. Now I want to know what's going on with that, and I hope that's... A story they're going to be developing in this. I'm glad I saw saw that you know post about this because otherwise I don't think I would have ever seen it. Clear on the backside like this. I don't know. I might have you know getting bored searching around. But I thought I had already looked back here and hadn't found anything, so I wasn't really... I wasn't really exploring a lot more. Yeah, I might have to actually get out and do some more exploring, just in case there are more caves around that I have missed. So I, I put a little window in it so we can see out one side of it at least. 
and we've already got some uh, super alloy. Look at all that super alloy. And I already took that other stuff back. This is all just this trip. Holy moly. Do I have enough? Uh, well, let's find out. Yes, I do. Let's put a storage box in here. Just in case. There we go. Okay. Well, I am going to head back. Um, I'm going to try to stick around and hopefully it's not going to take hours still for it to reach uh, the tier 3 tree planter, tree seed spreader, tree planter, whatever it is, so we can get that out in this episode. The here is what I've been doing for the last few days. Uh, seed spreader rocket. This will increase our oxygen production. You know, our everything was going up pretty good, except for the oxygen. Uh, and so I've been really working on that, but now everything has pretty much come to a standstill. So that's up to 4.1 parts per... Uh, no, 431 parts per billion? No, I was right the first time. 4.1 parts per billion, I believe it is. 4.1 parts per billion. And... That barely made a dent. You know, no, it's starting to go up now. That's good. That's good. I've we've got eight heaters now, and I think five drills. So I've added two drills and I've added five heaters. <laughs> Let's go ahead and build the other one now. And this should increase our biomass. So what is our biomass now? Let's compare them once again. One hundred and twenty-three twenty-five. One twenty-three twenty-five. Now we're up to one forty-four three ninety. So we got twenty-four out of it. A little over 24. We're up to 70, so we're almost there. <laughs> I have been screwing around here for the better part of an hour waiting for the last few Giga Terraformation Index to go by. 79.47. <laughs> 79.47. Seventy-nine fifty. Now, please, ding, ding. Okay, now we can build our tier three thingy. Who? This thing's tall. I mean, these are tall to begin with. Look at that. Look how tall that is. Let's walk over to it. You can better idea of how tall. Yeah, this is where I've been dumping extra stuff. I actually forgot it was out of here. Look at it. It's taller than any of our trees, and we've got some pretty nice tall trees here. I haven't put in any of I've I've put in just the best of the uh, ones, I think. Two hundred and fifty percent of three. At any rate, I think. Uh, um, let's see, like this plant that's two hundred percent. Oops, wrong way. Yeah, the two hundred percent. I have one of these out. All the others are the. No, I'm sorry, 300%. I have one of these out. All the others are the 400%, the 450%, and the 600% ones. We have just one. Where is it? Just one of these, which I actually meant to get going in the mutator. I for completely forgot about it. Um, didn't I have some mutagen? All right, let me get all this stuff together here. Okay, the only difference between... 
the requirements for this one here, the tier two, and the tier three are no, that's not the one I want either. Are um, that we need one extra uh, tier two fertilizer. See, this just uses one. This one uses two. And zeolite, we are running out of, despite the fact that I have found some more. I'm trying to figure out where our 150% tree seeds are, because that's what I. Here we go. Amora. I'm gonna take it out of here. I'll put one of the the one I'm just making in there. Um, let's see, where would be a good place to put this? I don't think I really want to put it over here anywhere. I want it someplace where it's got lots of room. Well, this should work. This should work. Let's just see. This thing has a pretty good range on it, doesn't it? This thing has humongous range on it. Holy cow. All right, let's put it over here somewhere then. Okay, right here. Oh, I didn't look to see how much energy this thing's using. I thought that was 680 for a minute there. No, it's 193. It's still a lot. Holy cow. And it's 18.25 oxygen. Oh my god. I think this thing was making us under 3 oxygen to start off with. Whew. So all I need to do is make a bunch of fertilizer which isn't uh, terribly uh, uh, difficult. It's uh, just algae and water to make the tier one fertilizer. And then um, you need uh, uh, a squash plant, more algae and methane gas along with the, the tier one fertilizer to make it a tier two. So all I have to do is make a bunch of those and I'll be able to upgrade all of these to tier three. And I wonder what that's going to do to our overall uh, growth here, because uh, that should shoot our oxygen production up quite a bit. I didn't really compare. Sorry about this. I should have compared the uh, biomass, too, and I didn't. Biomass on this is... Oops, no, I need to look here. There we go. So it is 2.93 and 149. I think the oxygen is the only thing affected by uh, the plant. And this is, holy cow, 680. 18.75 and 680. So, yeah, it's, it's a huge increase. And all I'm going to have to do is make a bunch of fertilizer. So that goes pretty good. But I'm over time, uh, which is good. I was, you know, struggling to get enough time so I can trim down some. Uh, so this episode might go a little bit long, but uh, I don't know. I might have one more episode in before the update. Uh, and that would just be a decorating episode. Because I was thinking I wouldn't mind building Growler some living quarters here. Uh, I'm not sure how I would go about doing it. I would love to see either... This big dome, this big circular room, I love to see it just an empty room with a flat roof, you know, like these are here at flat roofs, or even this one here, because I would love to do, you know, a big room like this one here, but this is a two by two, which means I'm going to have to offset it off the center. I'd really like it on the center, and it would be nice if we had a room that was just a flat room, just like one of these. I could put it right here and then put the dome on top of it. That would look really nice. But that's just on my wish list. <laughs> that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, like I said, maybe one more episode for the update. Uh, but definitely when the update comes out, I will be back to this game. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day. That's a robot.
What am I doing? Uh, you're gonna be like an adventure. And they call them the Vault Hunters. Well, most have all sorts of good stuff in I've been getting a little sun and I'm silent forever. He's making me get naked and start over again. It's good for you. You know, it builds character.